Coronavirus fears are spreading throughout the country. Here in West Virginia, we have yet to see a confirmed case of the illness. Other areas in the tri-state, however, are currently dealing with nine cases. In Kentucky, six cases are being treated in Harrison, Fayette, Jefferson counties, and also in Ohio, three cases there so far contained to Cuyahoga County. Universities all across the tri-state are also taking action, including Ohio State University, where students will no longer physically go to classes and will instead rely on online learning options. More universities across the tri-state are expected to make some decisions in the coming days, and we'll let you know when they do. Meanwhile, late this afternoon, Ohio Governor Mike Mike DeWine announcing that he's advising indoor sporting events to eliminate spectators to cut down on the risk of spreading the COVID-19 virus. Here in the Mountain State, there are no confirmed cases, as we mentioned, but some businesses are already starting to see a tourism impact from that risk. 13 News reporter Hannah Getz joins us in the studio with the latest on how tourism could be impacted. Well, Jennifer, major entertainment acts and sporting events are set to take place in Charleston and in Huntington in the coming weeks. There are no significant cancellations by people worried about crowds yet, but the city of Charleston is already seeing the impacts of the coronavirus on tourism dollars. One local hotel uh, reported this morning that they lost about $100,000 in revenue yesterday from cancellations. So right now that's the big impact uh, for us from coronavirus is cancellations of people planning uh, travel to Charleston and that's happening uh, all over the country. Tim Brady, the president and CEO of the Charleston Convention and Visitors Bureau, says they're in the clear right now with event attendance but are diligently monitoring the situation with the COVID-19 virus. It's a rapidly evolving situation. Uh, um, right now, nothing has been canceled. Everything is a go. That includes the West Virginia Boys and Girls High School Basketball Tournaments that are set to start this week. The tournament brings in roughly $10 million to the city every year and accounts for roughly 35 to 40 percent of the WVSSAC's yearly revenue. First of all, we're working with the uh, Department of Education and the DHHR as well as the governor's office. So they're doing all of the um, monitoring everything. So we're just checking in. I check in with the state superintendent each day just to get clarification. Hey, are we still all go? Are there any issues? Just so that if we have any, we can make some adjustments. Take a trip down I-64 to Huntington and you can find similar events lined up with similar precautions. This is a serious decision. Obviously, we want to do everything we can to prevent any harm, but at the same time, there's economic consequences for these decisions. So I think that's why you consult the experts. That's why you move carefully at this point. Uh, we're seeing it impact other states and for, fortunately not here yet. And as a part of those precautions, tomorrow morning, Cabell Huntington Health Department and the Huntington Regional Chamber of Commerce are hosting an informational seminar to answer questions related to the potential impacts of the coronavirus. The event is at the Sister Celeste Auditorium at the St. Mary's Highlawn Building starting at 8.30 tomorrow morning. Jennifer.